First, I was a bit surprised that you at the beginning said, well, we have to see more the hope in uh, science and technology. Although we know that after 20 years of genetic modified plants, it was not an answer. And I was very pleased that at the end you say it's not all that we talk about here. So uh, it is a bit of a contradiction, but I see the contradictions now, and everybody sees the contradiction now because the promises which have been given years ago that the GM uh, or more pesticides will help us have not been fulfilled. Let's see the GMO cases. GMO has been seen now as a failure, a failure. Therefore, because we know all the advantages in seed production, in new uh, plants, is maybe from uh, smart breeding and other uh, traditional uh, um, technology, but not from GM. So where, namely one plant, where we really have a success. And also, uh, you cannot find, at least I can speak for Germany, uh, labeled uh, GM product uh, on the scarves because um, in the supermarkets, nobody wants them. The only uh, products which are on the market are the, uh, the, the feed uh, uh, stuff, and if you would have solved the uh, uh, labeling uh, loophole, uh, also, this would be uh, uh, changed and differently. And also, we know that it was not an answer for the so called developing countries because 98% of the plants which are produced are herbicide or insect uh, insected residents. And we also know that they are not um, are having more. Um, uh, a health of, uh, is a solution for the farmer. So uh, to, to make this very sum up very quickly, the, uh, quickly the GM case, I think it is a failure. We have to see it as a failure, and it will not help us. And I, I hope that the Commission will see us that uh, uh, also deals with the United States on the zero tolerance will not help us because the European Parliament. Uh, the Jury Affairs Committee will um, challenge this because we have clearly rules and it's also very interesting that the, food, uh, the EFSA have recently claimed that they, in maybe two years, able to make long-term studies. So what does it say? It says they have not been able in the past, they have not been able, uh, they are not able now, and well, we don't know uh, if they will be able in future. But, but the main point was, of course, uh, pesticides. And I'm the rapporteur, and I'm very happy to tell you that I think this um, regulation, which will, is now in a very important uh, phase, uh, because it will be uh, voted in, uh, very soon in the committee, and then in January in the parliament, is a win-win for everybody. Why it is a win-win for everybody? First, it is a, a, a win for the consumer uh, because they get a safer uh, um, food and vegetables because the pesticides will be safer. Uh, it's a, a win situation for the environment because they have many advantages. If the product uh, is safer, we respect much more the water framework directive and and so on. And this, of course. Uh, a win a separation for the retailers because they can deliver their consumers uh, better products and I'm very uh, um, happy that the retailers support uh, this regulation. They even want to have it more stricter. They, for example, uh, wish from us they have an electronic uh, field pass uh, to have more information to really support the farmer, which um, and most of the farmer respect uh, all the rules, and they uh, the, they uh, 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 have a responsible uh, use, uh, responsibly use uh, pesticides. But it's also a win situation for the industry. And I saw on the invitation list there are many representatives from BSF here, and uh, it's a win situation also for the industry because. They get the incentives. They get the incentives to produce better, safer pesticides. And I very often compare the pesticides industry with the um, uh, uh, automobile industry in Germany. Uh, the automobile Germany in 
uh, in Germany was very uh, successful, but we have um, not taken advantage of many of uh, technology development like the hybrid car, the catalyst starter, and so on, because there have never been well, rules or never uh, governments be so strong to say, well, we have to change, we have to get better environmental standards, to get few incentives. That's exactly what we're doing. And this morning, to finish, uh, when it was a uh, new um, uh, colleague, Mr. Stevenson, had a very nice uh, breakfast meeting with the beekeepers. And it was so um, amazing to, to, to hear, to see the figures. I mean, you know how important bees are. And we have a collapse of bees in, in Germany by 60% this year, in, uh, in Europe by 30%. And this is also, um, we really need answers from the European Commission, how the health check uh, of the agriculture uh, policy also will face this problem. But of course, there's one big uh, uh, solution we can present. We want to have um, bee toxic uh, uh, pesticides banned uh, from the market because we want to help the, the farmers, um, the beekeepers, the environment, and nonetheless the industry to get incentive for better and safer pesticides.